The Vols on the road against LSU. So heading into tomorrow's game, we hand out today's keys to victory for the Vols tomorrow. Swain, would you like to lead us off with three keys for Tennessee to get a win against the Tigers? Absolutely. I got you. I got you taken care of. Um, For me, number one is win the field position game. I think it's very, very important. The reason why is because you have an LSU offense that hasn't been lighting the scoreboard up, uh, even though they've been pretty good at running the football with their quarterback who uh, has been really good at that and taking care of the ball and and really moving the chains. But when you have a team that's been one-dimensional, they haven't been dominant running the ball, they have issues throwing the ball uh, and making plays through the air, you want that offense to drive the length of the football field. Remember, you want to exploit a team's weakness. And by forcing them to drive the length of the football field, that's exactly what you are doing. So you want their drives to start inside their own 20. And if you punt the ball, especially at midfield or somewhere close to that, you could pin them and put them inside their own 10, on five-yard line. I think if we're able to to do that um, – we give ourselves a better chance to win. Looking at Florida's possessions and in the first quarter, they kind of started at their own 16, also started at their own 12. That's what I'm talking about. You don't want them starting on their own 40, on 35. Uh, that's 20 to 30 yards in field position that you're losing out on. So what does that mean? You don't want penalties and special teams. Uh, you you want to be smart with negative plays on offense. So win field position is number one for me. And number two, fourth down defense. When you're playing against a team like LSU and their offense is not as, as, as good as ours and uh, everyone knows how explosive Tennessee's offense is, look at what Florida did. Look at what Bill Napier, uh, what his approach was. And that was to be aggressive because he knew that for 60 minutes his offense would not be able to keep up with Tennessee's offense. So they went for fourth down conversion six different times and on five occasions they got it make lsu pay there was times when florida went forward on their own 30 yard line you don't you don't want that if they do make them pay and go put up points so we gotta be better there with our fourth down defense lsu is going to see how successful florida was and they'll try to do the same thing let's make them pay so that's key number two and then key number three positive turnover margin I'm not saying play perfect. I'm not saying you can't have a turnover. That would be ideal. But if you do have one, make sure you take two away from LSU. Make sure if you have one that you at least take one from LSU. You don't want to have a negative turnover margin. I prefer positive turnover margin, but certainly you don't want to have a negative turnover margin. Again, expose LSU's weaknesses force them to drive the length of the football field as much as possible. Turnovers inside of your own 50-yard line, you don't want those. Those turnovers will kill you. Now, if it's fourth down and eight, then you are at your 30-yard line going in and Hendon throws it up and the ball gets picked off at the two-yard line and that's kind of like a punt. That's okay. You don't want to turn the ball over on your side of the field to now they get the ball in field goal range on first and 10, uh, and they're guaranteed to score a point. So uh, it is where you turn the ball over, but if you just focus on winning the turnover margin and having a plus in that area, should be okay. So all three of those keys together, man, I think if we're able to do that, Tennessee walks away with the win and beignets in hand. Three keys for me for Tennessee to get a win at LSU tomorrow. Number one, Limit LSU's explosiveness. I put that number one because we know that Brian Kelly wants the offense to be more explosive. We know that he wants the quarterback, Jaden Daniels, or Nussmeyer, if he's in there, to take more shots. Well, if that's going to be part of their goal, their objective, don't allow it. Tennessee allowed it against Florida, and it became problematic as the game went along. Limit LSU's explosiveness because while the numbers aren't there right now, the talent is at wide receiver for them to make plays. And if they do that early... They're going to build confidence that they can do that for four quarters. Number one, limit LSU's explosiveness. And one way you can probably do that 
attack from the edge. You have guys that should be able to beat their tackles, right? So you get after Jaden Daniels. You keep him from getting confident and feeling comfortable in the pocket because he will need time to take shots down the field. He might take off and pick up a first down, and that can become frustrating. But that would be less damaging than him hitting big plays down the field. Number two key for Tennessee Watch B.J. Ojolari. They have several talented players up front. Ojolari's the best. He's a guy that can change the game. If he gets into the backfield and gets to Hendon Hooker, that could end up becoming an issue from one of your keys. You could end up having a turnover situation that turns the game for LSU as it happened last week against Auburn. Got to the quarterback, ball pops out, score for LSU, boom, they're back in the ball game very quickly. So watch B.J. Ojolari. Other playmakers up front, but he's their top guy. And the number three, clean special teams you cannot give the ball up when the ball is punted to you you can't have somebody break through and block a punt you can't make a big mistake that allows momentum to swing or play to be made for lsu all three phases count tennessee has had some issues in special teams late against florida with the onside kick clean special teams so that we're not on sunday or monday talking about man that mistake those mistakes in special teams ended up costing Tennessee. So three keys to victory for Tennessee from Jason Swain. Win the field position game, fourth down defense, and find a positive turnover margin. My three keys to victory for Tennessee. Number one, limit LSU's explosiveness on offense. Number two, be aware of B.J. Ojolari on defense. And number three, clean special teams for Tennessee against the Tigers. That's how you win tomorrow. There it is.